so hi guys so today i am back with another video which is based on tensorflow audio recognition so in this video basically we this video is part one of the whole audio recognition project that we would be making it's a very big level project i won't be saying it's a very huge project but you would get to know an idea about what uh, audio recognition basically is how you can use tensorflow to uh, recognize uh, audio and do the, all the classification part so before starting i as uh, we would be looking at the data set we would be using so we would be using the speech command data set of by warden 2018 you can see this is available on the data sets of uh, tensorflow here you can see if you want to read about it you can see here so basic, basically this contains short audio clips of commands such as down go left no right stop up and yes so we would be making the recognition system uh, and model on the basis of this only so uh, as usual we would be starting with importing the necessary modules and dependencies we will be using cbon for visualization in this project if you don't know basically what is C what cbon is it is a statistical uh, statistical data visualization tool uh, library present inside python and uh, it is li like based on directly on matplot only but it provides a very high level interface for uh, you know doing the drawing attraction or information statistics that uh, usually you do on big data so yeah so we would be importing os matlib matplot numpy cbon tensorflow and the layers and models from keras and ipython from we would from ipython we would import display we would also set the seed value for experiment reducibility that is 42 for here so i would just run this and uh, yeah now uh, so i just looked at the data and uh, we saw uh, as i told you this is a very huge data set this is the original one the link and uh, all the uh, audio files are consisting of as you can see 1 lakh 5000 audio files of people saying 35 different words so this data was collected by google and is released under a ccb li license so you need to download and extract this mini speech commands because this is the small part of the data which contain the smaller speech commands data sets with only uh, th those five to six commands and this we will download using pf.keras.utils.get files so this is how i have defined this is the origin of the data uh, the storage google apis and i would just put it up here and as you see the all, the whole data has got downloaded uh, i have all, all, all already provided a mini speech command.zip to the name and once we can go here and come back you can see the data is present here the mini speech command.zip and all you can see things are present here this is the readme file this is stop write everything is present here so these uh, as you the data store uh, data sets audio clips are stored in eight folders i have shown you all those no yes down right left up and stop so let's let's look at the commands just to confirm yeah similar commands are there and uh, after that we will extract the audio clips into a list called file names and shuffle it to make sure that things go well and for that i'm using tf.random.shuffle and then we would see the size of the uh, means the total examples which are present inside the samples so let's run this and as you can see the uh, num samples and the file names are so total examples are 8000 and examples per label are 1000 so it's like eight uh, features have been provided to us and total 8000 uh, audio clips are there so if you use basic math also that's uh, that that gives you the perfect uh, combination that is thousand examples per label is there so we will split the file names into training versions uh, training validation and sets using 80 10 and 10 ratio so i have used six uh, for 8600 for training uh, and the rest for 10 10 for that is 800 i guess for uh, uh, for uh, for the validation purpose and 800 for testing purpose so you can see here yeah. And now in this section, what we would be doing is uh, we would be pre-processing the data, creating decoded tensors for the waveforms and the corresponding labels. So note that that it, the four things we would be doing here, we will be creating three functions here, and then we would be calling these three functions in the a single or a single one function in the uh, upcoming uh, set. 
सो ईच वेर फाइव क्लास की उसी कंटेंट टाइम सीरीज डेटा सो ईच सैंपल ऑल्सो रिप्रेजेंट द एम्पलीट्यूड Uh, these we we files have a range from minus 32 as you know if you know the value of the data structure int present you you would be able to relate that so, so the sample rate is uh, 16 uh, khs and the shape of the tensor is uh, written by you know audio dot decode bab in sample channel where channel is one and mono for uh, for mono or two for stereo so this is all, all the part of waves infrastructure everything so we would be uh, using the test file the test audio and te test audio shape and you can see this is the tensor shape which is coming 13654 comma 1 so let's define a function that will now here the main part comes we will start defining the functions this is the first function which is decoding the audio so what we are doing we are giving the, it the binary audio and we would be doing pf audio decode wav in which it contents would be audio binary or audio binary which is giving we are giving here and then we would squeeze it and return it so let's run this yeah so we have defined this function the other function is uh, get label we need to get the label from the uh, of the file so for that we would we have defined this function get label file path and and we would uh, simply go and get the parts minus 2 that is we will get the uh, second uh, last variable of the uh, whole file where the label is present so i would simply do yeah so we have defined two functions we have defined decode audio we have defined get label these two functions we have defined now other function the last function we need is get waveform and label uh, actually what is happening in this we are not creating any new function here Uh, means we are creating a new function, but we are not defining anything new here. We are just calling these two functions, that is get label and uh, audio binary. From bo bo both of them here, we are see decode audio, get label, and same we are doing here, get label and decode audio. And the audio binary file. So what is this function doing? It is taking the file path, then it is giving you the label. Then audio binary is the file is the exact uh, audio that you are taking from that file path. and then you are giving that audio binary to the uh, waveform and then you are you are returning waveform and label so i would just run this and yeah we have defined the function so we will build the training set to extract the audio and label pair so we will create a tf dot data dot data set with uh, the uh, tensor slices and data set dot map uh, for using the waveform and label you must be knowing that we are returning basically two things here waveform and label so that definitely we would be needing a map for that so this is the map function and this is the num parallel that is for auto tune i would just run this and yeah so i won't be building the exact model in this video because it would take the video a bit long so uh, we would be doing that in the next video but let's plot a few audio waveforms these are the row columns this is the number of total number of uh, uh, means uh, cells present that is rows into columns the figure axes are present here and this is the basic, basic mathematics that have been done i have taken this from documentation of available by, from tensorflow itself so yeah uh, you can just look at this mathematics online also that how this mathematics happen in for, in for form of waveform because because uh, because it's part of physics and mathematics combined so i would just run this and yeah this is the part you can see this is the right part this is go this is right so you can see some similarity uh, if you see this similarity that is after a particular strike uh, after a particular disturbance this is silence then again disturbance same here silence then uh, means this disturbance and then silence then again disturbance same happens with uh, if i say go you can see there is particular pattern follow here and that can be seen here uh i guess same would happen with a uh, stop if i have two of them available i guess i we don't have two available and for no also we are seeing the same pattern so this is how uh, uh, this is how manually i am telling you that things can happen but what tensorflow is going to do the machine learning part is going to do it is going, going to look at the values that are being represented here the positions that are uh, that are being represented here all the things it would be looking at all those these features and for each label thousand examples are there so i guess it would be able to train itself at its best and give us the good output even though still the improve, scope of improvement would be there because we are using a very small part of the data we are using 8000 images and that is uh, i guess 8 or 9% of the whole data available so let's uh, in the next video we will look at what are the results 
and uh, how things work out for that so you can go and play with this notebook i would give you the link as usual in the description section and uh, just enjoy the notebook and do tell me uh, if you th think anything can, that can be improved in this notebook so and we would continue with the next video in the next part so thank you for watching the video thank you and have a nice day